guys, 200 years ago today. Now, breaking news, Mexican and American War has just broken out. Say, Carter, do you know what the President Poking Polk's campaign slogan was? No, what? It was, it was to annex Oregon and Texas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm actually not. Why, why would I joke about this? I don't, I don't know. We are having breaking news. All right, back to the story. Do you know what the slogan 5440 and. Wait, mm -hmm. why is it? I thought I said and. I think I looked at that. <laughs> I was like, and. Alright, 5440 means, Carl? No, I don't believe so. It means North Latitude, the line the line which Americans wanted the Northern Territory to extend. Uh... Also, did the British U.S. really want war? And was there. Where's the Oregon border settled? All right, let's see here. The British didn't want war, and the border was settled in the south, right? Um, please, guys, just take a moment. Um, we actually got something to write. Um, this is, I think, better than, like, I'm more of, like, amazed and breaking news than the, the battle that's happening right now. Mm. All right, Smitty, do you know the two problems that Texans hope to solve by having Texas join the U.S.? I don't know. It was financial and military problems. Did you, did you like take something or something? Because no. now you know every single one. Oh, oh yay. Yay. Yeah. Okay, this is really cringy. Yeah, you think? <laughs> That's if you, you know. Oh, Smitty, do you know that some people believed in manifest destiny? Manifest destiny? What is that? It is obvious fate to settle land all the way to, to the Pacific Ocean in order to spread democracy. Wow. Well, Connor, now it's back to a man in the field. Burn it. Good scene. So where did the U.S. and the Mexicans think the, the border was? The Mexicans thought it was on the Nueces River, and the Americans thought it was on the Rio Grande. So, Fernando, President Polk sent a diplomatic, John Sado, to, to offer you guys, what did he offer, and what did you do? He offered us $30 million, and we were all like, ah, heck no! What did Congress do two days after the U.S. and Mexico clashed? They called war on us. Well, we're gonna do it in your house. We have to do it. So, Carter, how did the U.S. get New Mexico? Let's see. The truce failed between them, and the South arranged a massive attack on New Mexico. All right. Also, Smitty, do you know what the Bear Flag Revolt was? Oh no no! Ah, it was when it was when the Americans declared California to be an in the independent nation. So, because we're doing kind of like in the meaning again. So, Carter, do you know what the three towns General Kermy Dick took? All right, let's see: San Diego, Los Angeles, and San Francisco. Did you actually just say San Francisco? You didn't like my pun. That might have been the stupidest, the cringiest pun I've ever heard of. You want to get a medal for it? I'm done. I'm done. Well, now that he is gone, the states that got the treaty, the states that America got with the treaty, were California, Nevada, and Utah. Now, if my partner comes back, I believe we can continue. I'm back, so I just need some water. That was just cringy. Alright. Next up. So, Carter. That, that's it, Carter. After this, I'm never talking to you. Ever in my entire life. Okay? Do you understand? Yes. Okay. What is the gas and purchase? It was when America paid Mexico $10 million for. Okay. Carter, what 
is an example of his spe Hispanic heritage? Let's see, Mexican and American holidays. Good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Now, what kind of what kind of discrimination did Mexicans, American Mexicans, and natives face? Social, economical, and legal. Okay. Um. Smitty, if you think you're so smart, what did the water laws say? Okay. The good of the community would overweight the interest of individuals. Now, bet now here's the weather. Hello guys, so the weather is better than Illinois. It's pretty hot, you know. I mean it's Texas, California, New Mexico. Like what do you expect? You know? And that's for the weather. Happy birthday, kid. I think we can win this war. We're outnumbered by a lot. Dude, have courage. We have better, we may be outnumbered, but we have better weaponry and more equipment. Well, I also don't think this war is very necessary. Dude, it is necessary. All of the homeland have supported it. Are you sure about that? Yes, I am sure about it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so some homelanders agree, but the Whigs and about abolitionists don't agree well it really doesn't matter what the they think like no one cares about their lives but we are here so now let's fight